When I was a boy of 14, I would leave my parents' home on weekends to go to a lonely place and start writing. Today, I can no longer remember what I was writing. All I know is that I loved joining words together. By far the greatest work of my life, the work which makes me feel like I am high on cocaine, is when I sit down to write. And as you can guess, I make a lot of money from my writings. But don't oversimplify it. So many people know how to do a lot of things, but they make no money from such talent. The difference is skills. It doesn't matter what talent you have. You will eventually need a few other skills to make such talents useful and profitable. And that is why, in today's video, I will be sharing with you three important skills anyone who wants to build a business must have. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Detective Skill A few days ago, one of my extended family members reached out to me that he wanted to start a particular business and since I had promised him in the past that if he needed my financial assistance, I would be willing to offer it, I promised to give him some amount. But there is a problem and that is, he wanted to start a business because it's moving. Meaning people want what he wants to buy but it also means a lot of people are already selling what he wants to sell. I think one of the biggest problems people face when they want to start a business is that they are not able to detect what will be popular tomorrow. Here's the thing. If everyone already knows about it, it is no longer an idea. Usually businesses that make a lot of money are started by detectives, people who can smell what is coming. In the 1970s, Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, etc., against all odds, went after the computer. Most of us cannot understand what it means now, but let me announce to you, it was stupid. The computer was simply a fad. Mainstream media spoke against it. Everyone was skeptical about it. Millions of people said it won't work. At a time like this, only detectives could clearly see what is coming and go after it. On the 5th of July, 1994, when Jeff Bezos started Amazon, there were only 2 million computers connected to the internet and probably 70% of those 2 million computers were only used a few times per month. I tell you, it was stupid to start an e-commerce site when nobody used the internet. Only a detective can do that and that's what an entrepreneur is. Mark Cuban said, I've spent the last decade asking myself, where is the world going and how can I be there first? That is your job. And as an entrepreneur, to know where the world is going so that you can be there before everyone else, you have to have the mind that smells the future before it's obvious. Remember, when it's obvious, it's too late. 2. Rebellious Skill A few months ago, I read a blog post that was trying to discredit Elon Musk. The writer pointed out the fact that at age 17, he left his country and illegally entered Canada. The writer pointed at a few other negative things. I said, shut up. That's why he had the guts to deliver mankind from the woes ahead of us. That's why he had the guts to think of reducing the effect of climate change. That's why he created a boring company so we stop wasting our lives in traffic. Silly writer. That's why he dares to dream of taking us away from the planet God created us for. Show me an entrepreneur who's not rebellious and I'll show you a pretender. By nature, you can only be a successful entrepreneur if you have the guts to think everyone else is wrong. If you're a player who respects authorities, you'll get a job. Entrepreneurship is about going against the norms, daring what everyone else fears and doing what no one wants to do. 3. People Skill I know a few people who want to build a business, but they are terrible at human relationships. I'm sorry, you can't go anywhere in the business world without meeting people. Most times, these people are the reasons you will ever succeed and the only way to succeed is to get them to make sacrifices for you. You might think this is easy when you're rich, but how are you ever going to build a successful business in the first place if you can't get your suppliers, employees, customers and even landlords to like you? Then someone will say, People like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk are terrible people who treat others badly. You're right. I've read the biographies of Steve Jobs and that of Elon Musk. 
They are callous people who treat others unkindly. But they also have a very attractive mission which makes people want to make sacrifices for them anyways. Many engineers leave other countries to join jobs and mosques companies even though these people know that they're about to work with demons. But because these people love to be part of a really big accomplishment, they stop caring about the abusive statements from jobs or lack of loyalty from mosque. My point is this, you can never build a successful business all alone. In fact, time will come when people will become more important to your vision than yourself. You must learn to work with people and how to get them to make sacrifices for you. Read books about human relationships, psychology and negotiation. Learn how others think and how to get them to work to contribute to what you're doing. And the sky will be your limit. I hope this video helps someone. We love you.